All right, so when we learn anything, one of the most important things to know is to like, why are we learning this? How do we connect this? How do we apply this? So I love my guitar teachers, but they didn't really do a good job of like connecting all this for me. So you're gonna hear me always go, connect the dots, connect the dots. All right, so a lot of you reached out. This is gonna be a simpler version of the video I'm gonna try and do tomorrow, more in depth. I'll do the whole jam track, but just watch, let this marinate a bit, all right? So look right here at this slice of the circle of fifths. Now the circle of fifths is like my main tool I use. It's linked in the description. It's the best gateway into music theory. So we're going to be in the key of G major, the one chord, or G Ionian, and then we're going to focus on that, and then the sixth chord, which is E minor, the relative minor, they have the same notes, okay? So here's the focus of this. Got my looper with something really basic. We're gonna go really slow, all right? So, first chord chart, you're gonna see, you're gonna see this E minor pentatonic, okay? This is what I'm talking about, connecting the dots. So if you look at that, just play the shape. There's that root on the low E, okay? Now, real, really important, the root note is red, the third is in blue, and then I've got the fifth in turquoise, all right? So then you've got E, G, right? A, B, D, E, five notes, G, A, B, D, E, G, okay? So at the very least, look at that chord chart and make yourself aware of where those flavor notes are, especially the root, the third, and the fifth, all right? So just kind of see that, okay? Now, here's the part I'm talking about where they didn't connect the dots for me. Look at this next chart. Right inside, right in that same position up here on the 12th fret, you have the G major scale, G Ionian, right? And I put all the notes of that. So look, right here, starting with the root on the G, same colors. Now, one more thing, the seven, the major seven is in purple. I love purple, all right? I need a purple guitar. So look, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Now, if they would have told me that or made me just kind of realize that or pointed that out somewhere along the way, I would have went, oh my gosh, the, the, the relative minor right here and the relative major, are right, are, they're right there. Look, so look. So what you want to do is practice going back and forth between those. Now, I'm going to do this really, really slow. Watch, I'm going to have just root notes, right? So I've had a bass. I'm going to play G's and then E's, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and forth between the E minor pentatonic and the G major, or G Ionian, G major scale. So listen, so look, here's, here's G, right? Just root notes, okay? And again, I'll give you much more in depth tomorrow, right? So let's start minor pentatonic. Okay. Okay, G major scale. Color notes, there's that major seven, right? There's minor third. Depending on what you're playing over, but again. I'm just listening, okay? Minor pentatonic. String skip. G major scale. Uh, that's a looper pedal disaster. All right, so both of these chord charts, right? Not chord charts, scales. E minor pentatonic, G major. I need you to start seeing as I give these lessons how it connects. I'm gonna, oh, I'm just gonna keep saying it till you're sick of hearing it. Connect the dots, connect the dots. But that's how you do it. There's all these videos on um, the coolest trick to learning the fretboard, the quickest way. There's really no, there is no trick. It's it doesn't matter, you can learn all the notes, but if you don't know how to connect the dots and apply them, it doesn't matter, all right? So it's great, I could go A, 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 right? And then an A, A, uh, and then A. But if I, don't, if I don't know how to connect that in a musical context or apply that to the real world, then that's where it's gonna catch up to you. So like if you're playing with another mu musician or you're playing in a band, you need that skill set, okay? So for example, I'll link at the end of this video, I have a behind the scenes thing for a, an electric band I did. We were doing chair rock like the first or second time we've ever played it. <clears throat> I didn't know what the solo was, but I just kind of knew what key to play in, so I just improv it. That's kind of where you want to go to. You will see me hit a shank in there, but that's okay. 
We're humans, right? We need to connect, connect as humans. I know I'm in my room here somewhere in the world and you're in your room or your place somewhere in the world, but we need to keep supporting each other, lifting each other up, all right? So I'll put those chord charts in there to download, okay? Check them out. I keep calling them chord charts, scales, okay? Connect the dots. See how that G major scale lies right inside of that minor pentatonic. All the same notes. Remember, the minor pentatonics just stripped down. But focus on where those roots are, where the major thirds are, the minor thirds, all right? The major third of the G major scale, the minor third of the E minor pentatonic, okay? So that's it. So drop me comments, questions. What other videos do you want to see? Channels growing fast. Please check out the links. That's how I buy myself coffee. Check out the newsletter. I love writing that. That's growing fast. That's probably one of the most exciting things. And that's it. So I'll make this more in depth. I'll give you a whole jam track. But remember, only you can stop you. You're not going to stop. You're going to keep going. I'll see you in the next video. Later.